And now I would like to welcome Taylor Dolezal from our top end to provide our top user end user award ceremony. Please welcome Taylor back on stage. Well, everyone, we made it to Friday. How are you doing? I'm like, huh? Huh? Like, huh? Okay, we could, we could, we could talk about that one. Uh, it's my favorite session of KubeCon, getting to hand out awards. Uh, our top end user award is really special. It goes to a community member that has been working a lot within the space, uh, coming to meetings, showing up, contributing, and helping out others. Uh, this time, so this award is submitted by community members and it's selected by community members as well. So we had four really good contenders this time and it is my pleasure to announce that this KubeCon's winner is, drum roll please, Mercedes-Benz Tech Innovation. <laughs> it's like, I'd like to ask them to stand. Thank you very much. We're very proud of your contribution. We're incredibly happy to have you within our community and uh, Congrats on the award. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited, obviously. <laughs> well, that's it for me. Uh, I guess I'll see all of you next KubeCon in Chicago, and we can dish out uh, some of the latest cloud-native topics. Uh, <laughs> Some pep in my step as well. Uh, I'd like to introduce to the stage, uh, well, I do have one more gift for you, uh, the gift of Gab. I would like to introduce to the stage Gabrielle Colombo, GM of the Linux Foundation Europe. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in Chicago. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, everyone. When, when I learned what gift of the Gab meant, uh, it was pretty apropos. Um, anyway, thank you, CNCF, for giving me the chance to share a call to action with the open source European community. Um, for those of you who don't know, Linux Foundation Europe was launched last September in Brussels to help create and grow projects in Europe. Um, now, little disclaimer, uh, I'm sure Legal stuff is exactly what you wanted to hear on a Friday afternoon uh, in Amsterdam after, you know, a week of conference. Uh, but the Cyber Resiliency Act is coming up. For those of you who don't know, it imposes uh, uh, requirements for software producers and hardware producers to uh, bolster cybersecurity in Europe. And we certainly commend the goals. Uh, but there is a broad consensus amongst open source communities, which has signed an open letter uh, as Linux Foundation, that uh, it might impact uh, the very fabric of the open source community. Maintainers, foundations, uh, potentially package managers. Now, um, the bottom line is that professionally, I'm worried uh, about the impacts on open source. And personally, as an Italian citizen, uh, just more broadly about the thriving European technology ecosystem, which so much relies on open source. Um, I'm not gonna bore you <laughs> anymore with legal stuff, but if you get a chance, join us for a panel and, and Birds of the Feather at 11. Uh, we have, amongst others, Greg Crow Hartman, who's the uh, stable uh, kernel branch maintainer. Uh, and if you want to get in touch and get a, you know, take action, uh, take a look at the QR code, uh, get in touch with LF, whether you're in as an individual or uh, in your corporate capacity, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, and with that, thank you so much. Thank you all.